Now, you might be thinking, okay, that's terrifying, but surely we fixed this by now, okay, right? Well, about that. Because exactly one year later, December 17th, 2016, they did it again. But this time, they brought some serious upgrades. Enter Crash Override. And yes, that's actually what they called it, because apparently Russian hackers have seen Hackers the movie one too many times. Crash Override was different. Instead of manually clicking through systems, this malware could speak directly to industrial equipment. Think of it like this. Your power grid runs on a bunch of specialized languages. Protocols with names like IEC 61850 and IEC 104. Basically, the secret handshakes that let control centers talk to substations. Crash Override was like a polygot spy. It could walk up to any piece of equipment and say, hey, open that circuit breaker or turn off that relay. And the equipment would just do it. At 11.53 p.m. on December 17th, every circuit breaker at the Pivnitsia substation near Kiev suddenly opened. 100,000 people lost power for about an hour. But the clever part was that they didn't just turn the lights off, they made sure it would take a while to turn them back on. While the main attack was happening, a secondary program called KillDisk was quietly working in the background, it was deleting system files, corrupting backup systems, and even overwriting the firmware on serial to ethernet converters. This was making some serious damage. The attackers even targeted the emergency phone lines. While people were trying to call the power company to report outages, the hackers were flooding those same phone lines with fake calls. So not only were the lights off, but no one could even report that the lights were off. It's like some sinister prank.